Welcome to Factorio Masterclass. My name is Nilaus, and this is a series of tutorials and guides here on YouTube covering all aspects of the game and aims to provide resources and help you improve as an engineer in this wondrous game of Factorio. Today I have a quirky little build, Spidertrons. And yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one that I think we... Okay, crap. Today's build, it may seem a bit like a quirky build. I'm going to automate the construction of Spidertrons, but given the 1-1 one -one and the ability to queue them up and actually sort of have them follow items, I think it's actually valuable to be able to automate the creation of Spidertrons easily. Each of these masterclasses are usually inspired by either one of my Let's Plays, and my Let's Plays are either here on YouTube that I'm sure you know about, but I'm also streaming a parallel different Let's Play over on Twitch. This is at twitch.tv slash Nilos, and I'm streaming it. I'm streaming basically every evening at 8 p.m. Central European time, and I'm streaming Factorio on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays, so feel free to drop by either for Factorio or for one of the other uh, games that I'm playing there. If you like these videos, then be sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, then subscribe to the channel. Any ideas for future masterclasses, leave them in the comment section below, or the Discord, or join the live streams and uh, shout at me there. Let's dive in. As I briefly mentioned, the reason why I think it's actually reasonable for us to make Spidertron builds automated is, well, if you just need one, then it's not a big problem. But if you need two, then you can also just manually craft them. But if you need five and 10, then you really want it to be automated. You can automate it by just having robot network and just request the things, but I want to build this based on a bus base like I do for most of my other Mother Master classes. Then I'm basing it on the fact that we have a bus base and I'm basing it on the items you will normally ha have on your bus. So there are some things you don't have on a bus like electric engines or engines or efficiency modules. Those are not items that belong on a bus. So we can't just draw them in from the bus and therefore we have to create them on site here. So let's start with by making the Spidertron and then making all the buildings we need in order to construct the Spidertron here. The only thing I'm gonna bring in by robot is the fishies because, well, you're never gonna have a fishy line for anything else except for this one, or maybe for launching rockets. So let's start making the engines or the machines that go into this. So we were seeing that we need one of this, and I'm just gonna make them like in parallel, uh, that one, and we're basically breaking it down. So for example, processing units and low tensile structures are bus items, so not a problem. Steel bus item, blue bus item, engine is not. So we put engines here. Lubricant is a bus item, green is a bus item, engine is not a bus item. At least not the way I do it. If you do, then you can make your changes. And steel is a bus item, gears and pipes are not bus items. So already now we see that it's quite a big task that we need to make here. Quite a big uh, build. Next thing. We need, uh, we need radar there. That also needs these two. We need just F1, uh, no, not that one. And we have rocket launchers also needing this. See here, okay. So we're seeing a pattern. What else do we need? Oh yeah, uh, huh, the bad one. Well, the other bad one, I'd say we need some efficiency modules. Well, efficiency modules take red and blue. We got that. But they also take Mark 2s, and I don't have that. And Mark 1s, I don't have that on the bus. I do have it in my hub, but I don't ever want to use my hub for production in a bus branch. That's just a rule that I have, and I think that's a very sound and reasonable rule. So that gives us a pretty good summary of all the buildings we need. Now, Hmm, the thing is, we're not gonna be producing this very fast, so we can also easily take these out and say we just need one building. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve buildings. And that seems to be good. So I'm gonna try to make a pattern of this so that we can put it in. So there's actually four five items that need to go directly in here. And if you have one machine, then the maximum number of things you can put in is pretty much something like this. That's six items inbound or reverse like that as well. And you can of course do slight variants of this as well. But we're gonna start with this one in the middle. And well, let's uh, say that these three items, actually the rocket launcher, the radar and the engine they should all be fed from the same location. 
And that's probably going to be a bit uh, challenging. So I'm going to be doing this one. This will be our rocket launcher. This will be our here. Because they need to be able to go directly in. So in order for us to actually have a feasible location, it would have to be something like this. All right. Now, more issues with this. Well, I need to be able to have my engine build somewhere that can be reached. So I can build it something like this and then I can make my engines here. The problem with the engine is that the engine must be able to go into electric engines. So that could be, for example, here. And that needs then to go into, for example, that one, which then can go in here. So that now makes a chain like so. And then we just have this one. We can put that here, for example, and that makes the last part that is here. And I can take the efficiency modules here. And now we just need more efficiency modules. Like, I don't know, we'll just do that one for now. So at this point, all we're need missing is that one. And that could just be for now placed. So, all right, so we have all the items that can now be put into the correct sequence, at least sort of tentatively. What we're missing is all the difficult parts, to be perfectly honest. Uh, all the difficult part is all the, the inputs. So if we look at the inputs, this one is needing iron. This is need iron and steel. This is iron. This one needs iron and gears and greens, but gears we can ignore because we've solved the gear part. So this one needs iron inbound and this one needs iron inbound. So we're going to make an iron belt up here. And I think we're going to make it an iron and green belt. Yeah. So if this is an iron belt, boom. And that one doesn't need iron. That one needs iron. And this one needs iron. Yes. So let's use our infinite loaders. These come from editor extension. I am going to take just a half a belt of iron inbound, like so. Looking good. Yeah, that one's working, that one's working, that one's working. Perfect. The other half of this belt will then be greens because that seems to fit. This one needs greens, this needs greens, and this one needs greens. So I can actually start grabbing it from up here. We do miss something though. And that's the here. The pipes we wanted to make and the pipes will now get in here. So pipes can go and then I can just get it in here. All right, so iron goes into pipes, goes in here. It has everything it needs except steel. This one does not need steel, but it needs here and lubricant. So this one's actually good except for the lubricant. Lubricant should be easy to get in at some point. I'll again, just make a infinite loader here. Like that. So now we have, oh, okay, just also set this, boom. Okay, so that's two out of three. The one thing we're missing is iron or steel. Let's look at the other ones. Uh, this one, load into structures and blue. Well, this one also takes blue. This one takes blue. This one takes blue. So we definitely have a blue line here. Let's get a blue line. That one will absolutely be a blue line. I know I'm just kind of jumping all over the place. So we're gonna have the blue line here. That's that's definitely a thing. But that one needs the engines, yes. It needs the blue, yes. And it also needs steel. So the two places that need steel is this one and that one. That means we're actually in a fortunate position. <laughs> surprise, surprise, that this one can actually be a steel belt. So let's get steel into that one. Looking good. This one now should have all it needs. It's gonna be slow, obviously, but it has all it needs. Now let's move on with the science part. You need to get something inbound. This one is also going to need... Oh, right. 
This one needs rocket control units, right? So I'm gonna if I if I make another one like this, this one will be something like low density and rocket control. That makes sense to have these two together because they come from sort of our production for launching rockets. If I get this one, it needs to go into this one, but it also needs to go in here. So I need to move you just a bit. Maybe even over here. That. And it goes in to that location. Because now we can get it and get it. Yeah? Working great. You're going to go from here. And this one, you can go here. All right. This one has everything it needs. It just needs to make a lot more of them. This one has uh, the into that location. It's going to be slow, uh, but it will get there. So what we now have is only thing we have kind of left is this build over here. And um, well, that one requires green. So if I could just take it a bit up, that'd be lovely, I'd say. Uh, then it also needs red. So I could or I'm definitely going to take the other part of this one and make that red. And then I can just do something like this. Doesn't that look a bit boring? I think I... That's that's okay. It's nicely squared and stuff. So that takes the greens. That takes the reds. This takes the red and green. This takes the red. And then it goes in, in, in. So that looks like everything here is working. This one's working. This one is working. This one is working slowly. This one's working slowly. This one's working slowly, slowly, slowly. And this one is working and just consuming all of our blue circuits and then putting it in here. So at this point, it in theory works, but the problem is that it works only on a on a very, very inefficient rate. So we're going to do some, some changes and some optimization on this. And uh, that's definitely needed to do some optimization to really speed things up and make it more aligned. Because it's not built towards ratio at all, but it's... It, it can be done better so that the things that uh, take long time are going to be synchronized. But before we do that, let me just take a moment to thank the patrons who are supporting the channel, some new. But before we do that, I'd like to take a moment to thank the patrons who are supporting the channel, both the new ones and the ones who've been around for a very long time. I really appreciate it and it is really what keeps this channel going and allows me to focus on delivering content without being a slave to clickbait titles and thumbnails. So thank you very much for allowing me to continue this. and I really really appreciate it very much. If you want to support, then there's a link in the description below. But of course, there's absolutely no obligation. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the design. Now, there are still some things missing. What you can see here from the stuff that's running is that there are things, this one, these two, and that one, they're running. So we need to figure out how often we can actually make one of these. Well, maybe we have to do need to do something else first. And that is actually getting an input and an output here. And we're going to request some fishies because, well, you're, you're just going to pick up some fishies when you do some cleaning and they'll be put in your storage boxes. So they'll come in here. I don't think there's any other reasonable way. Yeah. And this is, uh, if you think the UI looks different, that's because I'm running on version 1.1. One, one. And uh, yeah. So if you haven't, consider upgrading. It's just on the Steam overlay. And what we're we doing here? Yeah. Spidertrons. I don't know. Just make 10 Spidertrons in the storage seems reasonable right so how often are we building one of these well there are two constraints here you can see this one and that chain so let's look at this chain so if i want to make one spidertron i make two efficiency modules each efficiency three module takes five efficiency two models modules so i'm going to bring up the calculator so i can we can all keep track of this that is two efficiency three modules times five efficiency two modules times each of these takes four efficiency one module times four that's 40 modules times 15 second craft time each that is 600 seconds or in minutes that is every 10 minutes so this chain here can complete one in every 10 minutes if this was crafting speed one this is now crafting speed 1.25 so it's slightly slower it's i don't know eight minutes on the other side we need four legs 
we'll do this calculation again. Four legs, each leg contains, and here's the kicker, 30 electric engines, 30 electric engines, and each electric engine up here takes 10 seconds to craft. And that's the same for this one, so they will always be the same. You don't add this plus this, you only take this one because they are working in synchronization. This is crafting for number one. This first craft is for this first craft, and while this one's working on craft number one, this one is preparing craft number two. So we are getting a much larger number, which is now 20 minutes. So this side of the belt here is, or this side here is twice as slow. And if we build this and get a Spider-Tron every 20 minutes, I mean, that's okay, I think. But, you know, if you want it, and when you set it up, you are going to need to, you want some pretty quickly. I don't expect that you want super quickly, but I think that if we build like this, then we increase the speed of this part from 1.25. We were, this calculation was with speed one to 1 1.2, So we just take this one and divide by 3.75. There we go. We got five minutes and 20 seconds. That now this one will be the bottleneck and we just go over and it's actually only this one that we have an issue with. And if we just take, let's just hypothetically put a single one in. That's speed 1.875. Okay. We remember we needed 40 of these times 15 seconds. That was the 60, 600 seconds or 10 minutes and divided by the 60. Okay, that was a very complicated com calculation to get back to the 10 minutes we already knew. Now we divide by 1.875, which is the crafting speed, and we get the same five minutes and 20 seconds. So at this point, we now have a balance between this production chain into the Spidertron and this production chain into the Spidertron. Both are operating at a speed of or at an output one every uh, one every five minutes and 20 seconds. Now it would be nicer to say five se five sec five minutes. Uh, so we, we have a few things we're still missing to get this up and running. Uh, one of them is power. I'm always doing these designs without consideration for power. So we'll just do this one. This is absolutely perfect. You maybe even think that someone had planned it like this. And unfortunately it doesn't reach all the way over. So we'll just put one more extra in here. But that one reaches pretty much everything. We can also build one here. And then the other one will be yeah, kind of not as good, right? So I think I'll prefer this way of doing it. You can also do it with the smaller power poles and you just have to put in different places. But I think that at this point we have these available, so that should be fine. Let's also put some lights in because, well, it is a me build. So let's put some lights here and there, kind of in a symmetric pattern. I'm going to go with a kind of here. Yeah, that's kind of symmetric. And then get something in on this side as well to get some symmetry over there. So we have power, we have lights, we have everything else working. What more is there to do? Well, actually, since this is already making two things that you could use yourself, for example, when you build this, when this one is getting built, well, you need something in it. So I'm, what you could do is take stuff like that one and that one and simply say, you know what, on top of making one of these every 10 seconds or oh, 10 minutes, five minutes. I actually wanted to put a few of these aside, just just a few. Uh, in my case, I usually put three legs in a Spider-Tron. So I would take this one and just put it into three. This one, I only put a single one of these into a Spider-Tron there. And that's basically how I would do it to just make sure that I would also make get something output for the general logistics network. Or if you <clears throat> happen to kill yourself and need some new things, it's nice to have it to be able to request it instead of going over here and picking it up. So that's basically how I, I think we can, how I would do this. So it, it, of course, it's putting a bit of a drain here. I think it's valuable to do that. It also means that if you include this, it's not going to be every five minutes, but that's beside the point at this point at the moment. How are we doing here? We are not get. Oh, we do have a Spidertron. The reason why we don't have it is because this one is actually a limit and we already have built all the ones we need here, all the 10 needed. So there you have it. That is our build for how to get stuff from the bus. It is quite deliberate that I've designed it in a way that there is one space between because then it makes it much easier to branch it off a bus with the mixed lines. So we have branches of the bus with all the items that we generally have on the bus, at least the way I do it. So that's how all the other masterclasses fit. 
And you can just stamp this one down if you don't want to go through all of the design details. Stamp it down, be happy, see a Spidertron coming out every five to 10 minutes and also have the, some of the items needed. You're very welcome to just keep adding more stuff to this one. It's a, it's a bit of a little hack here. I, I really like it because it's just really convenient. And when you get the Spidertron researched, you can just stamp this down and then you know that it'll take care of itself from there on. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It's about 50% subscription on the channel. So do consider subscribing. I produce a lot of Factorio content, but also recently more other Factorio content. So maybe some of that will also inspire you to watch other games. If you want to watch live or just come hang out, then I'm streaming on Twitch. That was at Twitch TV slash Nilaus. It's every evening, pretty much, at 8 p.m. Central European time. So uh, do feel free to come by if that fits or come hang out in the Discord server. There's tons of other people discussing Victorio and other interesting things. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay effective. <laughs>